Before you read about your heart condition, we thought we would take you on a tour of the normal heart. Knowing these facts will make it easier to understand what's special about your own heart. It also makes you realize the amazing job that hearts do pumping blood through the lungs and the body. So instead of a complicated diagram, we thought we would simplify the heart so that everyone can understand what it does and how it works. Let's start by drawing an outline of the heart. The heart has two sides, a right side and a left side. Altogether, the heart has four chambers, two filling chambers and two pumping chambers. The medical terms for the filling chambers are the right and left atria, and the medical terms for the pumping chambers are the right and left ventricles. In the normal heart, the right heart pumps blood to the lungs and the left heart pumps blood to the body. The right heart contains oxygen-poor blue blood, which is pumped through the lungs to be filled with oxygen. The left heart contains oxygen-rich red blood, which carries oxygen to the body. So now let's talk about blood vessels. There are two large blood vessels that leave the heart. The aorta carries blood from the left heart to the body. The pulmonary artery carries blood from the right heart to the lungs. Between the chambers of the heart, there are flaps called heart valves. The valves open and close so that blood can enter and exit the heart. The flaps are sometimes called leaflets or cusps. There are four heart valves. The tricuspid and the pulmonary valves are on the right side of the heart, and the mitral and aortic valves are on the left side of the heart. The heart also has an electrical system. An impulse triggers an electrical wave that travels throughout the heart. This tells the heart to beat and pump blood. We hope this tour of the normal heart will help you understand how your heart is different.